I'm about to show you and demonstrate are two programs that I use with my computer, so I do my school work with, and also my job at Delgado Community College. Right now, the screen that you see is Zoom text. So it's enlarged all the print. So what I do, if I would like to have it read, I can read it myself, or if it's easier sometimes for me, late at night, what I'll do is I'll hit Shift, Alt, A, and the Windows Here 8. Russell is a native of New Orleans, Louisiana. Born legally blind from a rare eye disease, Kim always saw a bright future for herself. Herself. Now, since I hit the space bar, what that does, it stops right where I'm at if I want to look at something. Then, if I hit the space bar again, Herself. it'll say the word. Once, if I want to resume the reader, I just hit enter. Herself. That's why in 1996, she attended the Louisiana Center for the Blind in Ruston, Louisiana to receive tools and training for alternative techniques and adaptive technology to live her life as a high-functioning and successful legally blind individual in today's society. Society. And then once you want to finish your document, all you have to do is hit the escape key and it takes you out of there. Now, um, if, say, for instance, I wanted to go into another program or anything else like that, now this is my, I guess you could call my toolbar for my Zoom text. I have to read with a 12 times X, which means I only get to see 144 of the screen. And I can either take it and move the, if I go the up arrow, I put it to a 14X. And then if I do the down arrow, I can do down to 10. It just depends on what I'm reading, but normally my default is on 12. And that's how I read normally when it's on the 12. Um, I can minimize this. This is a very good program for a person who's legally blind or blind. And I can go down here at the bottom of the toolbar, and I can either minimize it or bring it back up if I want to change something on there. But I really enjoy this program and if I want to, when I'm ready to shut everything down, because using Zoom Text, you use one of your operating systems, so it's best you have a computer that has uh, four to six gigabytes and 500 megs of RAM, because this program itself takes almost two gigs. And then I just hit, it at that, hit the yes if I want to shut it down. And it goes back to a normal screen size. So that way everyone can, if a person who's not legally blind can see that. And it's a really good tool to have. I mean, they've come a long way with the adaptive technology for a blind individual and someone who's legally blind because they're keeping up with the times and every new program that comes out it's really good to learn it because the new computers may not be adapted to the old systems that are being put out the programs. The programs, there come in different types of programs. There's JAWS that strictly reads, Zoom Text reads, and also does magnification. There's Dragon Naturally Speaking that you can speak into the computer. And there's also a way that once the text is on the screen, it can also read it back to you. But there's just so much as adaptive technology out there that you have to pick and choose what best fits your needs and how you feel comfortable with that particular program.